Hi y'all, I just wanted to show you the importance of tension. Um, all of these are made with the same yarn, which is just basic DK weight yarn. So you can see it's just your most common one in the UK. And it's made with a 4mm hook. Put it the right way around for you. There you go. See, so four millimeter hook. So they're all made with the same yarn, four millimeter hook. The only difference is the tension I use, which changes the gauge. So these three here, they're all twenty stitches across, and they're ten stitches up. This one was made with a tight gauge so I kept it really quite tight this one was made with my normal gauge and this one was made with a really loose gauge now you can see for starters the holes are much bigger in the loose gauge than the smaller the smaller is much firmer but if you see the size difference between them all see so you got your loose one here um, your tight one side and then your normal one and then your loose one so if you put them on top so then we line them up you can see the size difference in them so look at the size even here so if you have a different gauge than the pattern is asking for it could create a much different size garment so you might not think there's much difference, especially in the row size. It's only around one row length difference between those two and about half a row difference between those two. But if you go between the tightest and the loosest, it's at least two rows difference, as you can see. So. If you make in a garment and the person who's made it has quite a tight tension and you have quite a loose tension, your garment, as you can see, is going to be much bigger than the pattern that they've done. And if you have a tight tension and they're loose, it's going to be much smaller. And this is where a lot of people go wrong because they think they don't have to check their gauge. And depending on your tension, your gauge can be very different to the person who wrote the pattern, even though you're using the same yarn and the same hook. So it's very important to always check your gauge. The same is on granny squares, even something as simple as an open work. Look at the size difference between these. I mean, look at the difference between those two. Again, this is the tightest gauge, which, you know, is very neat. You know, so there's nothing wrong with that gauge and um, this is the loosest one and again there's nothing wrong with it it's a much more lacier look and it's a really nice one that people like and this is my normal gauge but again you can see the difference in size so if we line up the middles on these you can see there's about half a row difference in the sizes so between this one and this one there's actually a row difference if I take the middle one out you've got a whole row there difference in size and so again even in a basic granny square object you will get very different sizes depending on your tension on your gauge so I know a lot of people will think doing a gauge swatch is a lot of hard work and a waste of time but believe me, if you do this beforehand and check your gauge for a project, it will save you ripping out your project at the end because you will know if you're going to be coming up small or coming up big. And this will help make sure you can adjust either the stitch count and the row count to match the gauge needed, um, which we will have to do some math on a pattern. Or you could simply change your hook size. If you knit, um, if you crochet too loose, try going down a hook size. If you crochet too tight, 
try going up a hook size and that will adjust the size of the product and might help you make gauge. Um, I will do a video showing the different size hooks and how the sizes change on that one so keep an eye out for it but that should help you understand why it's important to always check your gauge and your row count and your stitch count to see if you're going to meet the size that you're expecting because even if you normally meet gauge on all patterns that you've done so far someone else may have wrote a pattern has a completely different gauge than what you're used to and the product will look completely different so I hope that's helped um, if there's any further questions pop them down in the comments and I will try to answer them for you bye